founded in 1789, Georgetown University is the nation's oldest Catholic and Jesuit university. Located above the banks of the Potomac River in beautiful downtown Washington, D.C., Georgetown has rich historical roots that intertwine with those of the nation itself. The Georgetown University men's lacrosse program exemplifies persistence, pride, tradition, and diversity. Combining those qualities with determination, hard work, and the ultimate sense of team purpose has earned Georgetown a key position among the very best Division I lacrosse programs in the country. This year, Coach Dave Urich led the Georgetown Hoyas men's lacrosse team for his 22nd season. During his tenure, Coach Urich has established Georgetown University as one of the elite lacrosse programs in the country. In his 32 seasons as a head coach, Urich has cultivated 98 players who have earned All-American accolades, has helped 69 different players to be named All-League Honors, and has led the Hoyas to the NCAA Tournament 11 times. Coach Urich has been inducted into four Halls of Fame and is one of the most respected and revered coaches in the game of lacrosse. The goals of the lacrosse program at Georgetown University are, are, are twofold. First and foremost, uh, the goal is for our, ed our athletes to receive what we think is one of the best undergraduate educations available. And, and secondly, we want our athletes to strive to compete with and against the best players in the country and ultimately compete for a national championship. The heart and soul of the lacrosse program here at Georgetown, I think, lies almost exclusively with the total commitment that our assistant coaches bring to the program. Matt Rienzo and Scott Yurick are, are just uh, so immersed in this program that it, it's, it's uh, inconceivable to me sometimes the, the time and effort that they put in, the commitment they make to this program. It, it's, a, it's a heart and soul uh, approach for sure. And Jesse Miller comes to us as a, as a volunteer coach, uh, devotes a tremendous amount of, of his own personal time and energy to to what our players are all about. And I just can't say enough about those three young men and what they what they add to our program. And I know the players certainly appreciate their effort. Matt Kerwick returns to the Hilltop after head coaching positions at both Hobart College and Jacksonville University. Matt brings extensive coaching credentials and a high energy approach to Georgetown University and the coaching profession. We are obviously very pleased to have Matt back on the Hilltop. Georgetown University strives to play one of the toughest schedules in the country, representing the Big East Conference and competing against some of the very best Division I lacrosse programs in the country. Let's take a closer look at the Georgetown University men's lacrosse team in action during the 2011 season. The 2011 Hoya attack led the team in scoring, however most impressive from the coaching staff's perspective was their tenacious effort in the riding game. Team leading point production from Travis Como and Ricky Mirabito was complemented by the versatile contribution of Brian Casey, who played equally well at attack and at the midfield. This season, the Hoya attackmen combined for an impressive 107 goals, 61 assists, and 102 ground balls. They led the Hoyas offense, which finished the year ranked number 14 in the country and second in the Big East behind only Syracuse in goals per game. Let's take a look back at the Hoyas on attack during the 2011 season.
quality midfield play is certainly a must for any team that aspires to play at the highest possible level nationally. The 2011 Hoyas received double-digit scoring contributions at the midfield from Zach Angel, Max Seligman, and Brian Casey. Jerry Riley's contribution as a short stick D midi was most impressive and highlighted by a last second game tying goal against Syracuse at MT Bank Stadium. Ryan Schuler also provided the most impressive career contributions as an offensive and defensive midfielder as well as an attackman. This season on midfield, the Hoyas competed hard on both sides of the ball, pressuring teams in transition and making the most of scoring opportunities. The Hoya midfield combined for 34 goals, 10 assists, and 163 ground balls. Here are some of the best plays on midfield during the 2011 season. underestimate the value of possession of the ball and that is obviously directly related to efficiency at the face-off X. Face-off production for the 2011 Hoyas was in the most capable hands of Brian Tabb along with long stick midfielders Tyler Nahr and Pat Murray. It's often been stated that offense sells tickets and defense wins games, and the Hoya defense in 2011 held nine of our opponents to single-digit scoring. Defense was led by All-American and four-year starter Barney Ehrman. 
Dan Hostetler, Bobby Boyle, and Chris Norris were the heart and soul of the Hoya defense that was anchored by Jack Davis between the pipes and goal. Jack just gave us a great year after postseason surgery in 2010 and is very capably backed up by C.T. Fisher. The defense units played well for the Hoyas this season, holding opposing teams to under 10 goals on nine occasions. They finished the year ranked second in the nation in forced turnovers, taking possessions away from opposing teams 179 times and combining for an impressive 212 ground balls. The man down defensive unit finished the year ranked ninth in the nation, keeping opposing teams from scoring extra man goals over 75% of the time. Here are some of the highlights from the defensive play during the 2011 season. This year's team awards were presented to the following players. William Corcoran Memorial Trophy Team Most Valuable Player, Barney Ehrman. Bernard and Sarah Gewers Award. Team Offensive MVP, Ricky Morabito. Bernard and Sarah Gewers Award. Team Defensive MVP, Jerry Riley and Chris Norse. <laughs> Coaches Award, Jack Davis, David Shriver. Jason Prof Decker Unsung Hero Award, Max Seligman, Ryan Schuler. Most Improved Award, Dan Hostetler. <music> Service Award, Matt Rienzo. I'd like to take this opportunity to personally thank Matt Rienzo for his outstanding contribution to our men's lacrosse program over a 14 year period. Four years as a player, two time MVP. 10 years as an assistant coach. I'd certainly like to thank Matt for his outstanding contributions to the Hoya Lacrosse program and wish him well as he pursues a career in athletic administration. In addition to the team awards presented by the Georgetown University men's lacrosse team, postseason awards are presented national by the U.S. ILA and by the league, highlighting the accomplishments of premier student athletes in Division I men's lacrosse. Congratulations go out to all of Hoyas recognized this season by the USILA and the Big East for their achievements on and off the lacrosse field. One 
of the truly unique and special aspects of the Georgetown Lacrosse program is the tremendous energy and the support that our parents provide. Coaching staff would like to thank the Hoya parents for their continued loyal support of our lacrosse program. Your efforts are most impressive and much appreciated. Coaching staff would like to take this opportunity to thank all the senior members of the 2011 Hoya Lacrosse Program. Their commitment to excellence, persistence, and hard work exemplified the Hoya Lacrosse Program. 